Here I am. This is They Talk Funny at a special date and time with the fantastic Mike Wilmot. Uh, welcome, everybody uh, who's tuning in. Uh, we, Mike arrived and gave me shit over the brick wall behind me. Uh, so, welcome. How are you doing, sir? It wasn't shit. I, I was just saying that this is an eccentric <laughs> wall, and now any comic that started years ago can tell what kind of brick. We should set like siding. Yes. <laughs> With this, I'm doing well. is it you're doing to well. Skip this much? No, it, it's not. Uh, if you actually, phone, right? there's a. Yeah, if if you go, there's a little button that says Cam and Mike down at the bottom center. Uh, if you go to camera and. Uh, choose more uh, show advanced you can change the definition to like standard definition or low definition uh one step below wh whatever you're on and and it should kind of clear up that skipping so hopefully it says All right remove from stream edit name edit stop mic oh there we go there we go so there we are uh, as that's being worked out, for those who are not familiar with uh, Mike Wilmot, what have you been doing living under a rock? Uh, Mike Wilmot is uh, it's, he's Canadian comedy royalty. He's he's British comedy royalty at this point. Uh, he's a, an actor uh, uh, known for well such thing as it's it's all gone. Peter Tong uh, or Pete Tong, and also uh, the Art of the Steel, uh, which I believe was directed by Jay Baruchel. Also had Kurt Russell in it. Um, he's been in a, a multitude of, of television appearances, but he shines on a stand-up comedy stage. He's a, an amazing performer who knows how to engage with guests, uh, with the, the audience, uh, and uh, he has been no holds barred. He better be coming back. Uh, I, I think that we just we just hit a little bit of a glitch as uh, he's getting connected. Uh, using his phone on his porch so he, he could be on the wall. Um, yeah, that's not the extent of the interview. We're going to be continuing on. Uh, and uh, I'm just firing off a quick message to him. Uh, he made me promise to be drinking with him, so I've got a, a little bit of gin in the glass. Mm. Tasty, tasty gin. Uh and uh, he's coming back. I Hold can on. hear the traffic. Yes, I went. I went. I went to this far off land, Paul, where I <laughs> aged a thousand years, and then I came back. It was incredible. I met the the people. I met the songs we sang. Okay, I'm back. Okay, uh, so <laughs> and it, uh, I started in comedy. I think in the eighties. <laughs> the memory's fuzzy, I, but not, it was. I don't know what question I was answering because, again, with the crap through time, you know what I'm <laughs> I know to get it's up to, on my porch so we could do a threesome. Tim Steves lives around the corner. I'm trying to get Tim here. We could do a threesome. That would be awesome. That would be amazing. Tim is somebody who's on my my list yeah, of, yeah. of of dream interviews as well. Uh, hey, all right, here here's the well, thing. See, if, I'm, I, I, hold on, never mind, never mind, Paul. Let's more about me. I'm an I'm an enter interview. Once once you interview me, you you'll be interviewed. Well, no one knows who I am, but I'm one of those guys. You interview me. Oh, we had Wilmot. Well, if that reluctant old fucker did your show, I'll do that. <laughs> so this is a this is a turning point. They yes. told me this in the future when I went into the future when the when the phone didn't work. <laughs> What are you drinking tonight, by the way? I'm trying to say, it's you know, I'm sadly, it's uh, uh, 2.0. I'm an old man, and and the I, odd I, shot of Irish whiskey. Okay, all right, uh, we, we we've got you already uh, pegged it as the fact that I'm close. We're we're both the same age. Uh, you are obviously way more experienced as a comedian. 
uh, and as a performer. You know, that, uh, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> Don't get first off. That car got pretty close. <laughs> If, if you can still hear me over all this bullshit, this could be, and I'm not kidding, Paul, this could be the funniest fucking thing on the internet right now. <laughs> this is a real, uh, this is a, a, a bus wreck. And the great part is there might be a bus wreck. If, if you know, if during this bus wreck, there could be a bus uh, wreck. So you're, you're going to be our man on the street? Just don't is, get hit. Looks, I had way too much coffee. My, I literally am. Uh, the man on your street. Ready? Okay. <laughs> oh, we, we've got Lynn Alex is, is chiming in. She's having some drinks as well. And I feel like I'm just That's the just right drink. amount uh, of uh, stone for this. So uh, thank you very much, Lynn, for, for tuning in. And if anyone has any well, questions for Mike. You, you, just the way you spelled that out. <laughs> Keep it to yourself, just, please. Well, uh, all right. So you you started in the eighties. You think? I oh, I've got an interview, dear. I forgot I have an interview. I disappeared. Can you can you see you? See, uh, what, yeah. What kind I can, of bargain I can see... basement? Why why did what did did you did you have an argument with Zoom? Is there someone trying to stop <laughs> this pod thing? Uh, no, this this is using Streamyard. I think it, it, it's uh it's it's the fact that your your uh, phone is having to travel through that brick wall behind you. See, that's the benefits of doing it with a fake brick wall. Is uh it, the, oh, the radio why signals bounce did right you through. Just it. Say that for Christ's sake. So this could change completely if I just go into my house. Yeah, but I want you to be comfortable. Already, this is better, right? Yeah. Well, no, I can be. It's in my house. I'm comfortable in my house. Now I'm walking towards the little beeping machine that drives me crazy. <laughs> and this is work for you. See, this, this is this. Here's the problem, Paul. Uh, you knew I was unperfect. That, that's my whole uh, 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 niche. That's my niche. <laughs> but uh, now, I, oh no, no problem. I'll just get my drink, and I'll. You know, it, I always, I think, you know, it's sick. Now, you know, maybe I'll just, I know what I'll do. I got an idea. Now I'm in front of the screen door. I'm... <laughs> All right. The the camera froze. I'm not sure if we're seeing your ball sack or something right now, but it's a, uh, it could be your beard. We're, we're not sure. Um, Mike, okay. I, I was. Mm hmm. Like you're coming in from Australia. Uh, Sean Griffin is watching. He says, I can't stay, but I wanted to say hi. Mike, I've seen you live about a dozen times and at the nest back in the before times. I always loved your sets. Uh, and Paul, I miss you, buddy. Thank you very much, Sean. Sean is a astrophysicist. So he, he just left NASA to go work uh for uh i think the university of wisconsin so and i'm not sure if mike had muted himself or if it's just that quiet in the house uh, i can't hear you now mike yeah you may have muted yourself We're we're working this out. We're we're working this out. Uh, Mike is uh, is a rich storyteller. Uh, he has he knows so much about the history of Canadian comedy. Uh, we are definitely looking uh, forward to to being able to ask him some questions and get some answers. Uh, but this is going to be happening. Uh, and, oh, it's uh, you're right. University of Maryland, uh, Wisconsin. Uh, going to build telescopes at the South Pole. Uh, good on you, like a, a good Montreal boy. Uh, yes, Vong Show, it is a comedy legend 
Mike Wilmot, legend as in uh, seldom seen. Uh, we're having some technical difficulties, but we will be bringing Mike on uh, as soon as we can. Uh, his website is, of course, uh, www.mikewilmot.com or .ca. Uh, and I believe we're, we have him coming back into everything right now. Hi, I'm... I'm in my living room. See, you, you, you should have said... Now, first off, in the message you wrote, uh, it's best uh, to wear headphones, which I'm wearing. You never said, don't be outside through a brick wall, a real one. So so <laughs> let's share this. We'll share the blame, uh, Paul. Totally, totally my fault. I, I, I should have uh, I should have expressed a lot lot of stuff. We got a couple people who are, who've tuned in who uh, wanted to make sure that they said hi to you. Uh, Sean Griffin, which we mentioned, but Vong Show as as well. He's just going comedy oh, legend yeah. Mike Wilmot. That's that's me. I've heard that. I think that means I'm near death. <laughs> when, when, whenever I hear comedy legend, I think, well, yeah, I went. Time's out. <laughs> right, there we go. I'm in my new chair and uh, got some native art in the background for uh, so Canadian reasons. And, we hit the CanCon uh, yeah. moment. So let's get back to basics. Uh, yes, perfect. Yes, which uh, which I'll per- be paid for through Sound Exchange, an American company. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh yeah. All right, uh, Canadian arts and mm. uh, all right. Let let's start off. Let's start off with how. Like I, I view you as a, a storyteller. Uh, you, you have a bit of a ribald bed, really? but how would you describe your comedy? My comedy. Yeah. Uh, 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 I would say uh, uh, rarely performed. If, oh, a recent thing? Uh, uh, I, I have no, no idea, man. I, 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 I've, I've heard it. I've heard it described, but I've never, mm-hmm. I've never liked or, or have ever been good at describing it myself. It's me. It's me, but uh, funnier. <laughs> it's you, but it's funnier like and louder. Of me. It's me, and yeah. Well, I'm loud because your stupid fucking system. I can't talk. Can I swear on this? By the way. I hope the fuck so. Yes. Yeah. No, good. Good. But no. Uh, uh, I. I. I don't. Blue is my favorite of all of them. Is I. I blue doesn't even make sense because it's a color. They're just assigning a color to you. They're not. They're not saying well. Talk about genitalia. Your mother's ass. They won't. None of that. They'll just blue. He's a color. He's blue. So uh, yeah. Okay. So that's what I am. I'm blue. Dark You're blue. blue. All right. Sometimes baby blue, sometimes turquoise. And all about the blues clues as well. Uh, Hash the one that popped in to say oh, I, hello. I missed that well. room. I missed that oh, room. This? Blues clues. Oh, yes. Okay. This is uh, this is he actually uh, for those that are just listening. Uh, it's actually Zach Kick, which is a, a Montreal young Montreal comic, put these together with uh, John Ray, another comic. Uh, that was so a, they're it, limited edition. At its best, that was the, probably one of the best rooms in the world. It it was so Sports homey. Home. It, yeah, it was perfect number. I always, whenever uh, people ask about how do you, what's your favorite number to perform in, I always say about ninety seats. For is so fucking. If it's a beautifully run gig. 90 full 90 there's a club in yeah. uh, ireland like that that is, is so if they they can fit 40 so packed 90 that, that I, <laughs> I love that's that's perfect where a microphone seems a little gauche <laughs> you know maybe there's a little too much him and his amplified comedy but i yeah i think that's that was a great room is there is there any one piece of advice that you wish you learned earlier in your career? No. No. Easily answered. No. No. Because everything up till now has been perfect. Uh, uh, if, I, I don't think I could understand the advice. So that's the thing about advice. You can only take it when you're ready for it. So no. I, I, I think whatever, I, I always had a keen ear for things that I could understand that could then help me. But I I, 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 uh, I wasn't ready for advice I couldn't understand. So I, I had to wait. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a process. 
process. It's a slow process comedy. I, for me, and when I'm ready for the advice, when I went, oh, that makes sense, then then I'll take it, take the advice. Now, uh, has your your writing discipline changed over the years? <laughs> yes, I recently <laughs> used paper. <laughs> For the first time, rather than just I've like a, a, a ripped oh, open I, cigarette case or napkins. Now I quit smoking. That's the whole, whole thing. What do I write on now? <laughs> so for six or seven years, I had nothing to write on, but I, I paper. It's paper. I'm using a lot of paper for writing. Some of it is actually. I had um, my wife. I I was driving her crazy. I was going. You know those legal pads? Those yellow. Legal, they're hard to find now. You have to go to like specific places to get those cheap um, the dollar store. legal pads. The... So that, you know, no, you'd think, check out your, maybe in Quebec, but here in Ontario where, where it's all hell, uh, we couldn't get to, no, we, there was no, um, we had to go to Staples. I mean, this isn't a plug for Staples or like it would matter, <laughs> but um, I, I uh, yeah, I, uh, my writing is uh, over the pandemic has changed that you have to keep going through what like you would write in and think, well, then I'll take it to an open mic and try it. But uh, now that there are no open mics, you just you have, now you have to trust yourself, which is fucking terrifying because it never works. Because I because I might have been writing a lot of garbage for the last uh, few months because I've no one's no an audience is there to tell you, no, that, that you're. That's dumb. You're going the wrong way, <laughs> and uh, I don't. I don't. I haven't had one, so I'm. 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 I, I, I bounce a lot of stuff off the misses, and uh, so she wants. Uh, she wants me out. <laughs> no. No car keys th being thrown your way. Uh, there's uh, not not a long time. No, and so for for you, a, a big part of your writing process is like you 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 write it, you write it out. Do you write it long form or just point form, and then flesh it on the stage, or are you fleshing it out as best you can and then take it to stage to see where it evolves? Well, I, I see. I never looked at it as uh, writing like a typewriter writing. It's it's mm -hmm. much more fluid with me. I have uh, certain sentences I find that need to be said almost precise to where you. That's where the key is. The magic is how you yeah. get there. Is uh, I, I play it pretty. I play it pretty loose. I I, I I admire guys that can write that well, but I I can't write that well. I have to, I have to do I have to do a lot of performing to get there. It has... And luckily, uh, I used to do a lot of performing. <laughs> well, you uh... pause? Are you you're in fucking Montreal, not Mars? Why is this <laughs> such a pause? This is like there's this CNN pauses. There's no pauses. I I, I just want to make sure. Like, again. I, I'm never sure when, when you're. Oh shit! I just turned my volume up by uh, by accident. I I'm never sure just exactly when you're done. Curiosity. Just how many people are are listening? Four, maybe, maybe seven. How many people? Oh, are we listening we are now? we're we, we haven't cracked four yet. We're at three right now. So, see, th three is a tricky one. I, I did a podcast for uh, four months. We we got to seven, and the pressure broke me. That's <laughs> so like, there's that's no pressure. Like seven people. That's an odd number. No, no, no. That killed me. Seven. That's like an odd number of people were listening. I have yeah, no but, idea what but, I'm talking about. I just started three. trying to keep this thing going because it seems so dull. <laughs> I love you too, Mike. Uh, yeah, all right, did, working with no, Derek did, Edwards. This is just that... gentle ribbing. It's ribbing. It's such a suck. I knew this was about Edwards. I knew this was a <laughs> You Montreal <laughs> bastards have been the same since day one. Well, I don't fucking know Derek Edwards. He's a stranger to me. <laughs> no, um, he's the best. I was in the room. We know that. I was in the room when Bruce Hills was sitting beside Willie Mercer, forking over... Twenty dollars for every minute that you were able dollar to do bills? clean. Yeah, twenty dollar. twenty dollar bills. You weren't in the room then because it was one dollar. No, so it wasn't. I was at that dollar. table. That's what did it twenty? Twenty per yucks. minute. Years ago. Uh, was it yucks? Yeah, was wow, it yucks at they Eglinton? Never told me that. 
They they told you they, they yes. you were told that he won the bet that you were able to do it because I remember it was up the sons of bitches. Tw- Twenty is gambling. I thought it was a, a dollar. Yeah, it drove me nuts. Been friends ever since that fucking bet. I love that. I re- <laughs> he was so because uh, Willie was had my back. Bruce was so proud of against me because he knew that would make me do it. He knew it. <laughs> and we've been very good friends ever since. Bless him. Yeah, they 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 wanted Son they wanted to he, he had he had me in his pocket for years. Both of them. They loved they you. Were saying uh, things they... like, okay, he'll take all the swear words out. But but it'll be a dirty concept, but it wasn't dirty. It was just all horse shit that they wanted. And they wanted you to succeed for for the gala show for the the televised show, uh, you I, know. We're, um, we're, eh, whatever. I don't know what their motive. I don't know what their motivation is. I think it's more to fuck with me. I don't think. <laughs> again, are, are we coming? Go ahead, go ahead. We've got another message from Mike Wilmot. Have you landed? Are you on the moon? Are you on <laughs> the moon, Mike? Mike, can he answer? He can't answer us. And Mike, I just, oh no, there you are. <laughs> I'm going to pour myself another drink here. You know, this is, uh, I, I can hear, I can hear your ice. And that reminds me of the big, biggest bomb I ever had. Or the bomb that I've had so many bombs, but the, the singular bomb that I remember that, because, the one you remember is the one you where you really wanted to do well. And there's a club in Toronto. You'd know it, the uh, Rivoli. And yep. years ago, when the kids in the hall were coming out of there and uh, mumping and smoot, just participated comment. I, I scammed my way on the show. And I was doing good in a strip club. Like, I was good at all those shit venues. I was kicking ass in the shit venues. And I did the Riviera. Uh, the Riviera. The, uh, the Rivoli. The Rivoli. And I, I, and they weren't being, they, yeah, they weren't being mean. But I, I could hear ice. And I, as I was on stage, I could hear ice in the back of the room. Yeah. I could hear like distant ice. And I, I'll never forget that. And and uh, I, every time I play there now, or when I until they closed her down, I used to always my, that bomb lives in here. Like all <laughs> your bombs live in those rooms. You know, it's, it's like dark, weird memories. Yeah. I I uh, I think my last time at the Rivoli, I followed. Uh, uh, Andrew you know what Aruda. I like more the most your your interview stuff. My interview style. Oh, was he a scooter? That fuck. You know, he used to make us cart that fucker around. <laughs> For those that don't know, Andre was a little person, and I mean little, little. He was a yep. fuck person, and and I adored him. And he went around, and he had this scooter, but he he was a comic. He didn't have a lot of money for those fancy white scooters. Every you bloody your fucking nose putting that bike in the back of your car, but uh, yeah. <laughs> God, if you wanted to get away with midget jokes, you needed him with you. <laughs> he was he he got hit by a car in that thing and did more Why damage to the car. Have you ever you you've almost you've almost got like a a singular special interviewing uh, style, Paul. That when I finish a story, there's awkward silence followed by these noises you make in the back of your throat. So I hope you take this platform and you, th- you take it into outer space, baby. <laughs> Thank you. There it is. There's that little gurgle. The gurgle in the nose thing. You're going to get a guy to cover that. <laughs> See that awkward pause we just shared again? Are you going to, you see, when, now it's live, Paul. You see, you can't tighten that up. No. Nope. <laughs> there's, nope. There's That's just, why I do you, it live. You, 
You had eight questions. I haven't listened to you once. I know <laughs> that's the point. At least there should be back and forth. The fourth. I'm nothing but fourth here. What? See what that? is your proudest moment? Pause. See that moment? You could have jumped in with something that's from get bored. See, these are just questions. That you've got written down. We're not having a back and forth, Paul. What What was the question? Uh, I was I was going to ask you this the most stock question ever, which I, is the well, your most favorite show that you remember. What, what? what was your most favorite show? Oh, that I can't answer. That the last one, the last one. I, uh, I don't uh, I don't have that kind of brain. I've had I've had amazing moments. Moments where I can't believe I'm on the stage, but favorite. What reason? Because of the size or the, you know, the uh, the acoustics. Uh, uh, favorite. I had one just the during the lockdown. We had a window where I entertained fifty people in a casino that that the seats two fifty, and everyone's nervous and scared with the last thing, and that was great. Yeah. So that was a good one. And then there was one, you know, I did it like, um, you know, um, the Sydney Opera House or or or, 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 or the Just for Laughs, uh, the, the old club soda. There's, they're, they're all uh, great. Hmm. I, I love every, it sounds like horseshit, but I, I, I just can't think on those kind of levels of, of like, it's like, who's your favorite band? Yeah. What kind of girl do you like? Like, which I, is your favorite I, child? I don't understand yeah. those kind of questions. Uh, well, well, then, could you describe maybe oh, a well, couple of the most amazing the moments? <laughs> well, what's some of those amazing moments uh, that, oh, that really yeah, stick with you? The ulti- yeah, would be um, uh, the one that uh, big time was uh, Kenny. And- and then the MC and uh, and Dom Herrera, and we did this show next to a castle, and we destroyed him. We the, the crowd was in pain, and I we were floating, and, and we all did twenties. None of us believed it was twenty. That that was an artist. Uh, that was that was a peak. That was that was amazing. It's all been shit from there. That was. <laughs> Like years ago. Now you you've you've played and then pretty that, much. Oh, oh, are you looking at your notes? No, I'm not looking at my notes. I was looking at you because I was like, you went Here's oh, distant, like you were about to say something that else. Distant ice cubes again. <laughs> I'm sorry for the flashbacks. I get Fuck over I, me. I, I'm clearly struggling. Mike, yeah, don't don't try to drink at the same time as your guest. <laughs> I'm I'm taking all of this as a learning. Clearly, moment. everyone's left us. It's just you and me now. We're down to one. We're down. Oh, we still have way, one w- hardcore w- w- viewer. I, I, I haven't gone one. Oh, <laughs> I I love whoever that is. I will follow you if you're on Twitter. I will follow you. If, if uh, that person comment, share I your Twitter in, you, in the comments. You actually canceled me, Paul. I uh, I I had work. I was offered a paying gig on a and, film. So I, oh god, I took what I could get. Right. Now, you, and you, also, you, uh, you 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 breathe you breathe like you're hiding behind a bush. No, I'm I'm breathing like a fat man. I haven't had the luxury of losing all the weight that you have. Again, he's, uh, he's, uh, uh, <laughs> he puts his hand on the camera. Terror. Well, that's because I keep forgetting where the camera part is. All right, uh, Lynn Alex is the person. She she wants you to be following her oh, on uh, Twitter. You better. Uh, but she she didn't give a, a Twitter handle as of yet. There is uh, okay. You've toured pretty much oh, no, every if, section if she of Canada. Oh, me on Twitter. That's oh, me. All right. 
That's yet yeah, Mike oh, Wilmot I, one every on Twitter. On the planet so far. The best what on the planet? No, I played everywhere. I I I played every everywhere. I I played I played countries that I've forgotten I played. Is, so is there? I remember we were at the cabin once. He has one of those orange. Pe- Go ahead. Keep. No, you you were saying there was a you're, cabin you're once. You're leading this. I'm not leading this. This is an interview, Paul. I understand no, I that. I'll okay, no, keep going. Keep keep leading me. Lead, keep going, Paul. Come on. All right. So me. in in these places that you, you got that you played, microphone. Is do it. Play anything it. else really really sort of been lost in translation that you've you've had a harder time recovering from? I mean, I've heard you mention some in acts, uh, yes. but uh, what 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 would be some of the, an example of of something that was lost in translation while you were in another country? Do, do. The, the only time I really remember it affecting the show uh, was years ago when I first left Canada and played uh, played Scotland. And mm-hmm. I was in Edinburgh for a month. And an hour a night. Well, I wasn't doing an hour. I was part of an hour and a half show. So I was doing like 40 minutes a night. And I, oh, this will be easy. They speak English. And uh, yeah, yeah, that was a huge mistake. But a wonderful learning curve because I'm I'm open to it. Every time I lost the crowd on something, I'd ask them, "What what what did I say that's wrong?" And we worked it through together, and that's what I fell in love with Scotland because the crowd lets you do that. As long as you're still laughing and joking and having fun, they, they, they'll rewrite for you. So uh, yeah, that was. That was what, but it's if you have the ability of asking an audience, where did I go wrong? And then working together on and on fixing that, then you you'll travel well. If if you if you have a problem with that, then then don't leave your house. Don't don't go anywhere. Go to L.A. If if you can only talk L.A., go to L.A. If if but if you know that's honest to God, that's it. I I don't. Um, traveling, you've got to be flexible, man. And, and it's too many acts are stiff and they can't be flexible. Or they're too, they're too, they're, you know, you, you got to be, you got to be bigger than the world. Now you, you're talking about bigger than the world. You're, you're huge in the UK. I mean, That's and you obviously, you love Scotland. Good, you know, if that was, if, the, no, if that was no. what? No, I'm, 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 the comics know who I am, but, but I don't think anyone in, uh, I'm not, I'm not well known because I, I do horrible on television because they, they, you know, television is, you have to really fake having a good time to do like a game show. And I have trouble with that because I, I hate them so much because I'm not good at it. And I don't care enough to get good at it. And I think people that are good at it are fucked. And I can't, I can't, or they're, yeah, I just, I can't. I did a horrible game show. I was a team captain. Uh, my manager at the time produced it called uh, Shoot the Messenger. And after like, the, the second or third one, I was so thrilled to get this gig. We were doing 21 of them. And uh, I was horrible, and, and 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 watching me look like I'm having fun was disgusting. So no, I'm I'm not. I can't I can't do that. I wish I could. They because once they know you on television, they come to see you live, and then you can win them over. But uh, no, yeah. I'm still just uh, I'm still a dirty nightclub entertainer that uh, famous Is people it- come out to see. But you're not you're not doing theaters while you're in the UK because I, I thought you were doing more theater kind of gigs between Ireland and, no. and, and Scotland and no no Britain no? no I did with I did with a I did with a few fr- Rich Hall and I toured but he mm-hmm. was the man in drag I did I've, I've done theater gigs in Australia and some in Britain but uh, uh, no a lot of people think I'm huge but if you ask like. The, the huge people in Britain, they, you know, they call Michael Mike. I'm, I'm, I'm screwed. I have respect 
without without money. So it's 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 <laughs> it's it's a lovely place to be. I love being respected, but you know, I, I have no respect for my landlord. You you've had well. The, the thing is that I, I was again leading to the question. Pauses, of, Paul. You you really you got it. You <laughs> really. You, I don't know. I sound like I'm I'm following what? you straight up, and you keep on cutting me off. So I I just wanted to know what what like why you chose to so keep living in Canada. But I think oh, it, we sort of answered that. It's not like it's not like. It, well, keep living in Canada is easy. Uh, uh, um, uh, years ago, uh, I asked my missus, "Do you want to move out to Britain?" She said, "No." <laughs> and uh, I didn't want to move out to Britain because I, I like living in Canada. And then we went out to Los Angeles for a few months, and it was great. All, but I, I didn't want to live there. I, I, I like living here. I, I really, really like being Canadian. I don't think you need to be rich to be a happy Canadian. I think you mm. need to have money to feel like an average Canadian in America. Or in Britain, I think you have millions to feel as good as I do for thousands in Canada. So, if anything, I'm making money by staying home or by staying in Canada. Uh, and what, what was that, the appeal? My phone just said I have twenty percent left. Stay okay, in Canada. Well, uh, Did you hear any of that? <laughs> I thought that was more moving than you gave. You gave me nothing on that, Paul. I'm sorry. I'll I'll, I'll add the waterworks in uh, post edit. Just oh. uh, w w okay. Over the past year, a lot of shit has happened. Uh, how has that been? Like, obviously, you're performing a lot less. Uh, did you do it at many of the online shows, or did you? I've done a few. Yeah, believe it or not, on Zoom, it's a, a wonderful format. We're easy to use. Zoom. Have you heard about Zoom, Paul? I've, I've heard about Zoom. I've format. heard about Zoom. Yeah, it's yeah a, you, you it's can a, edit, you can tighten it up, you can make it actually quite entertaining. Uh, Zoom. It's called Zoom with a Z. Z, two O's and an M. Zoom. Now, with the prospect that by the end of summer, we're probably going to be having clubs again, we're going to be having live shows again, uh, do you think there's going to be any of those online, those Zoom shows still happening? Uh, I don't know. I All I know is the, the first gig back is I want it to be the next. That's all I want. I want to drive with my wife, which we've been doing for 30 years to Montreal. We have the same stops along the way. We go to all the same shops. We, we It's a thing we have to do, and it, it's going to be that or uh, or, uh, or some I would love to do a gig in town. I like all oh, the comedy bar. I just want to hang out with the assholes. <laughs> now I have to tell you now this. I don't because I'm got the headphone bit in. My uh, phone is about to run out of juice. Juice. I, so I how understand long that. does this go? Uh, we can we can be wrapping it up. Uh, right now, I've I've asked everything I've got written down, uh, but I, I I love hearing the stories from you. I love your comparisons between Toronto and Montreal, and I know how much you love Montreal uh, and want to come back to the to the nest. Uh, uh, it's my dirty it's my dirty whore, my dirty dirty whore. Why why don't you live in Quebec then? If if you love like Montreal so much, oh, you don't live with a you don't you don't live with a whore. You 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 visit a whore. The words of wisdom of Mike Wilmot. Uh, Mike, I want to thank go. you very much for coming there on the show. Ra uh, Razzing me as much as you did. Right, it's been Paulie. a pleasure. Thanks for letting it's... me on your show. Well, I, was, I, 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 man... I knew I was going to do it before I even opened. I, uh, <laughs> I loved it. I love you, and it's all in fun. I think Which we met six times before you re remembered country. my name. I. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah, that's me. Yeah. Sorry. Man. <laughs> All right. And, and also, uh, I, I did, the, I did the... before I talked to you. I went out into my backyard and stood there for five minutes, forgetting why I walked. I'm now leaving. It used to be from room to room. I'm now leaving my house.
and forgetting why I'm outside. <laughs> Just hope that there's a stage at the end I'd of like, the travel. Oh, sorry. I, there always but, is. I, I can't wait to means, see you back on stage on again. It. Yeah, we're leaving on that. We're leaving on that. Mike, I love you. Can't wait to see you on stage again. See you.